Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Black Panther Wakanda Forever Atuma Build-A-Figure. Here we have Nakia. So Nakia is in some kind of underwater suit. Um, kind of interesting. She comes with the torso piece to the Atuma Build-A-Figure. And I'm going to be honest, I thought Atuma was going to be huge. Um, judging off of this torso piece, he's not going to be all that big. Um, you know, depending on the legs, he might end up being taller than some of the other figures or whatever. But I thought he was, you know, definitely going to be a lot bulkier than he is. But there's a lot of crazy craziness to like his suit and his costume like this collar like necklace piece is like pretty insane there's like bone pieces in there um it looks like so it just a lot of a lot of craziness for sure so it'll be it'll be cool once it's all built um and we could take a look at him so we'll put that off to the side so we can um take a look at nakia so nakia she comes with her kind of i guess signature weapons she had similar weapons to this in the first movie they're just you know vibranium rings type thing these are green though so i'm not sure what the difference is going to be other than just you know the color i guess for when she's underwater maybe that just you know they work better underwater the different material or something well i guess it's probably all vibranium but i'm not sure but they're just all green there's really no color to them so that kind of sucks um you know the first time we got them i think there was no color and then in the legacy collection when they re-released them they they accurately put some paint in there but these guys are just green as of now she comes with additional hands so um out of the package she has a fist for her right and then just kind of an open relaxed hand for her left and then in the package we get these two holding hands for her weapons and one thing that's interesting is the two the fingers are kind of spread out i don't know if it's a certain way that she's going to be like holding her weapons as you could see there but they look nice some nice detail in there and then we get the unmasked head sculpt which i think looks fantastic everyone's talking about the goofy eyes and stuff for okoye I don't, I don't see it. Everyone says the first head sculpt was better. I get that her eyes are kind of big, but having the two figures in hand, I promise you, this one looks a lot better than the previous Build-A-Figure. But this looks pretty, pretty damn good. So we're looking at like the previous head sculpts. They just didn't quite look like the actress, Lupita. I think this new one is like spot on. Looks fantastic. Uh, so really excited about that. Looking at the red and her hair. It's all braided. Yeah, a little bit of gold right there, too. That looks great. Uh, but here is the figure, um, and it's interesting. Let's talk about it. Let's get in for a closer look. Uh, lots of good things about it, but it's also some weird. There's some weird, for sure. Oh, but let's look at the box, too, real quick. Uh, so Black Panther Wakanda Forever 3D render. Um, we see Nakia there in the background, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Looking at it, we're jumping all over the place. So we looked at Okoye first. Now we're going to go on to N Nakia uh, for the Tomb of figure. Back of the package, you can see all the accessories that she comes with and everything like that. Side artwork of Nakia. Looks very good. Let's move on. Okay, so this one's going to be difficult because I'm going to get all kinds of glare on her on her head. This is a helmeted head sculpt for when she's underwater. I, you know, I think we safe to assume that that is the case. So you actually get a piece of translucent plastic covering her head. Um, and there's a face in there and the face looks really good, but you know, it's, it's again, hard to see because of all the glare and everything, but I think it looks great. It's an interesting design. I am, I'm, I'm excited to find out in story, like why, um, I guess it's not Atlantis in the in the movie, but why uh, Namor and Wakanda are going to be going to war and what the situation is, and you know, so with um, Nakia going underwater, it's going to be interesting. But the design of her suit is pretty insane. Like, there's so many sculpted details in this; it's pretty crazy. Even look at the back, the belt, the legs. It's just wildly. Um, detail, just all kinds of stuff going on in there. As far as paint, we get some good paint work, and then we get some not so good paint work. So, looking at the back of the figure, the back of the legs, just absolutely nothing. We get some blue on her back, so that's cool. But on the front, we get a lot of nice colors going on in there. So, some of the panel lining, we get this nice metallic green that's painted throughout on her thighs, a little bit on the upper leg there as it goes up. Um, the boots, not so much, and that's could be just because they're boots. Um, and then, like, the lines are different. We get some ovals, some wavy lines, as opposed to, like, these, um, the triangular lines up here. So, you know, it could be, you know, different part of the suit. So it could make sense. The torso, a lot of that metallic green in there, which is great. 
We get some nice blues um, throughout as well, like on her chest, the upper leg, the forearms here. It's pretty good. We get more of the metallic green on the shoulders and then metallic green around that collar piece. Yeah, the, what we get is pretty pretty crazy detailed. A little bit of red in the belt too. And that's just a floating piece. You could kind of move around. So a lot of a lot of just crazy details in in the sculpt of it. But it'll be interesting to see kind of how it looks um, in the movie. And then one thing I really like here, because like Okoye had the Kamoyo beads on her left arm, and they were part of the sculpt. Here um, with Nakia, it's actually a separate piece. So that is pretty cool. That we you know if we wanted if you needed to. Holy moly, this hand, hand is hard to pop off. So you got the Kamoyo beads. So you could probably pop those on to a different character if you wanted to. Like if you want to put on Shuri or something like that, you could do that. So it is just a floating piece. And then depending, you know, sometimes with concept art, sometimes they get these things wrong. But on her right arm, Okoye's is on her left. Maybe it needs to go on her left and you'd be able to do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and pop on one of these other hands. Let's take a look at this. So, looks like this portion right here is going to be the handle where she should be holding it. So, why her fingers are the way they are to hold that, I don't really know. It's kind of interesting, I guess, but she holds those nice and easy, like so. And now let's check out the unhelmeted head sculpt. Pop that off. Oh, so dumbbell joint head, so no hinge. And there we go. And that looks really good, except the hair. That didn't come out quite the way they wanted it to, I'm sure. So that's pretty ugly looking. <clears throat> so there, like the hair usually flows like with the back. Um, and they just didn't quite hit the mark there. It's a little weird. And it does look like it sits a little bit high up on the neck. But again, this, this unmatched head sculpt, I think, is fantastic. They did a really good job on it. But just that hair over the back, they just that was poorly done. Missed execution there. But yeah, that looks great. So let's zoom out for her articulation. Okay, so with the hair on, you know, she's not, she's definitely not gonna be able to look up, but the problem is the dumbbell joint just doesn't give us a lot of range of motion. So looking down, not even really. Uh, looking up, it's a tiny little bit once you put the hair all the way to her back. Uh, looking at the helmeted head sculpt, let's see how much range. She should get a little bit more, but again, that dumbbell joint, you know, really lacks. So she can look up that much if you do some kind of underwater photography or something for her swimming, she can kind of look out, so that is good. Looking down again, not really so much. You get some pivot going on in there, full rotation, of course. The shoulder, you can get the shoulder to go up and out like so. Full rotation in there, of course. Upper bicep swivel, which is awesome. Double jointed pinless elbow, so you get that much pin, uh, that much bend there, which looks good. Wrists swivel and they do hinge. All have the horizontal hinge. Diaphragm joint, so she could pivot to her left that much. She could pivot to her right that much. She can go back a fair amount. There coming forward's probably gonna be very little. Oh my God, almost nothing. Like that's even, that's even worse. Yeah, very, very little coming forward, which is a bummer. Like Okoye had a decent amount, but damn, this was bad. Uh, swivel at the diaphragm cut because there is no waist swivel on the female figures. One day, maybe legs go out that far apart. She can't kick forward that high. Leg go, doesn't really go back. Upper thigh cut in there. It's a little stiff. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed pinless knee. Great bend at the knee there. And that looks pretty good. No calf swivel or anything like that. Foot hinges all the way down. A little bit of hinge up, ankle pivot, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So um, typical female articulation, I would say, you know, one of these days, maybe they'll get those diaphragm cuts to get a little bit more range of motion um, coming forward. But um, who knows when that will be, but maybe one day we will actually get to see something like that. Okay, and so for some side-by-side -side comparisons, we have the two previously released Nakia figures. <clears throat> so we have the first initial release in the Okoye Build-A-Figure Wave, and then the Legacy Collection here off on her left, along with this one, the new one in the center. And you can see these two are about the same height, so that actually works out really well. This one having the different lower legs ended up being a lot taller, but these two look really well together. And again, the new head sculpt is just so much better than what they gave us before. Huge, huge improvement. 
Okay, and then here we have Nakia alongside the new Okoye figure from this wave and from the Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie. We have the deluxe release Ironheart and she just towers over them, but it is a girl in a mech suit. And what I'm thinking is her legs must only come out to here because there's no way proportionally wise it could make sense. And then the way the design of the leg, it's just all weird, like really, really weird. But the Black Panther Wakanda Forever movies, I've seen a few comments and people comparing them to like Eternals in terms of um, designs. Uh, yeah, maybe so. It's all like costume design and whatnot and, and you know how it translates it's into figure form. Sometimes it's not the greatest. Sometimes it works out really well. I think Nakia, you know, looks great and works out. Um, but again, those are the, just the designs based off of the movie, not like the action figures themselves. And aren't like saying, hey, let's just do this for an action figure. Um, you know, concept art wise though, and then final, final product in the movie, you know, how that's going to differ. We shall see. No, you know, we don't know yet. The movie comes out in November. Tickets might be going on sale, um, tomorrow, October 3rd, Monday. That's the rumor. At least I, I don't know if the tickets go on sale. I'm buying tickets right away. Of course. Uh, so we'll kind of see, but you know, I, I'm excited to add on, you know, a, any MCU figures as an MCU collector. That's kind of my thing. I love the movie figures regardless. Um, I always like having just, you know, the characters in action figure form, even if they fall over and not stand up the entire time. Um, but I love to, I love having, you know, the different characters from all the movies, the TV shows and everything. I love having them in action figure form to put together and display. So I'm, I'm happy with Nakia. You guys let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on the figure. Are you picking it up? Passing Amazon had it. I think it might still be in stock as of right now. I'll have a link in the video description below so you guys can check it out. I think Entertainment Earth has also shipped some orders out. Um, but yeah, that is the review. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys are interested in joining the MCU Collective and becoming a channel member, hit the join button. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.